Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to easily add color filters for your WooCommerce products. This will make it really easy for users to visually select products by a color swatch. To follow this tutorial, you will need Elementor Pro and this plugin right here called Jet Smart Filters. And if you go to the website and you scroll down here, you will see this is what we're gonna pull off right here. How we can easily add these different color swatches. So when the user clicks on one, it will only select the products that correspond with that color. And if you go down to their demo website right here, uh, view demo, you can see they have a whole working demo down here. So if you click on this color blue down here, for example, it's only gonna pull up the products that are blue. If you click on green, it will pull blue and green. And so I have this working example on our website right here. Same kind of thing, you click on blue, it will only pull in the blue products. Red, it will add the red. So now let's just jump right into the tutorial. Here we are in the back end of the website, and as you can see right here, this is just a generic WooCommerce uh, installation with their sample products right here. And the first step we need to do is go ahead and assign the products the colors. And so in this example, if you look under tags right here, this is where I corresponded the uh, different colors. I have blue, green, and red. So this will work if you use tags or categories. But in this example, I just want to keep it very simple and have it where everything's underneath the tags. So if you haven't already, you need to go under your products, tags. And as you can see right here, I just created three simple ones called blue, green, and red. And in this example, I only have a few selected. So if I go into here, you can see I have green. And let's go into this one and add a blue. So I can just type in the word blue. It will pull up the tag I just created, hit update. So now I have a couple blues, a green, two greens, and a red. After you've added all your different color tags, the next step we need to do is create the color filter itself within the Jet Smart Filters. And to do that, you jump over into Jet Smart Filters right here. And I just clicked Add New, and I have one called Color Filter. So you could just create new color filter. I just added the label color filter right here. Next, you jump down to filter type. You're gonna to wanna to select visual. And what visual does inside Jet Smart Filters is give you the option to choose between color swatches or like image swatches. So in this example, we're just gonna choose color. And under data sources, taxonomies, and under the taxonomy, I just have product tags. Like I said before, you can use tags, different categories. You can have a lot of different ways to pull in that data. But in this example, I kept it very simple, just as uh, product tags. Just select that. And let me go in here and actually remove these so you can see. The next thing you need to do is decide if you want to have it as a checkbox or radio. And if you're not familiar with the differences, so with checkbox, you can select multiple colors. Whereas radio, you'll just be able to select one color at a time. So it depends on your use case, but let's go ahead and do checkbox. And under options, this is where we're going to assign those product tags inside the options right here. So the very first label, let's call it red. And you can see right here, these are the values from right here, the taxonomy product tags. So you just want to correspond with the, the correct color. And then you need to visually select the color that you want right here. So let's just do that for blue. And you can see it's already at blue. I'll select this default blue. And what do we have left? Green, type in green, and select the green. That's it. So you just go up here, hit update, and that's it. You've officially created your filter. Next, we're gonna jump into Elementor and add this to the front end of the website. Here we are in Elementor, and as you can see, I have a simple product grid right here with Elementor, and this is the filter right here. So let's go ahead and remove all of this so you can follow this tutorial. Okay. The first thing we need to do is type in the word visual and you can see right here, this is the Jet Smart Filters visual filter. So you need to click and drag that in. So that is the filter that we just created. And whatever you called it, so in this example I called it color filter. And there you go, you can see it pulls in the different color swatches I just assigned and the label I added in Jet Smart Filters. So for some reason you need to change these labels you're gonna to need to go ahead and change them right here. Now we need to add the product grid and you could just type in the word product 
and you can see right here you could just use this one right here called products just pull that in and this is going to pull in the feed right here you're going to want to go ahead and make sure you select latest products or manual select whatever is going to fit your website so now this is the default elementor products grid and what you need to do is assign this filter you can see right here this filter is for you need to say it's for this grid right here and when you select right here you're going to want to select Elementor Pro products. So just hit that and let's go ahead and do some testing on the front end, make sure everything works correctly. So if I select red, okay, that works. Blue works, green works. You can unselect right here. Perfect. So yeah, you're gonna wanna make sure that this matches up to what you selected right here. So if you select one of these other ones, uh, this isn't gonna work at all. So now we can go ahead and create a two column layout and pull that over there. So let's go drag that over here. You can do something like this. This is just a quick example. You can see you can use grids or you can do inlines. You can do a lot of different things with this, but let's just keep this really simple. Let's add some spacing here. Okay. Next we can change up the styling for this right here. And what's good about JetSmart filters, they give you a couple options. So you can do Ajax or page loading. Um, what I recommend is keeping it at Ajax. This way the user doesn't have to leave the page. It all just happens in real time. And keep this right here, value change. And under filter options, you can see you can turn on and off the labels. So you might have a use case where you don't want to show um, the names. You can just turn that off. We'll keep that on. You can do some other things down here. Like if you want to actually change this to a drop down, you can do that. They give you a lot of different options, but I'm thinking in most cases, you're going to just want to show the color and maybe the label. So now if you go under here, you can see this is where you can change the spacing. You can either have it in line or in a column. In this case, we're going to choose column because you want to have them stack. And under item, this is where you can go ahead and start changing you know, how the text looks, how big it is, how small it is, whatever, whatever is going to fit your website. So let's just keep that at 20, you know, standard stuff. You can change the background color. And if you go under here, they have their own section for the color uh, image settings right here. So if you see right here, you can change how big this stuff gets. Um, this is where you're going to go ahead and add something like a 20 and you can see a border radius of 20 is gonna make this look like a circle. So there's a lot of cases where someone might wanna have it look like a circle. And that's where you do that right here. And they also give you options to change um, if you're gonna add a button. Um, and later in this tutorial, I'm gonna cover the counter. But let's go ahead and add, um, with JetSmart filters, they give you the ability to add a button if you wanna have it where you can clear the filters. So if you go ahead and just type in remove, you can see right here, there's a widget called remove filters. And it does exactly that. It's gonna remove whatever filters you have selected up here. So you need to go ahead and select this for Elementor Pro products and hit update. Let's go ahead and do a test. Let's clear this. And you can see if I select red, it's gonna add this button right here. If I select blue, green, whatever it may be, it's gonna add this button. So it gives the user the ability to remove those filters. So you can just click that and you're gonna see this goes back to the way it was. And this is where you can go ahead and style the buttons right here. So if you go under text color, you can change the text color here. You can change the background color, you know, whatever's gonna fit your website. And they give you the option to do left align, center, right and stretch. Next, we're gonna enable the indexer inside JetSmart filters. And what that means is, it's gonna visually show the user how many products correspond to that color. So you can see in this example, they have black and they have 17 products. So that's a good way for the user to know, hey, there's X amount of you know, products per color. To pull this off, we need to just enable a few options in JetSmart filters and really easy to do. So if you jump over into JetSmart filters and under settings, right here called indexer settings, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that this is on. By default, it's off. Click that on and click on whatever product you want it to index. So in this example, all of our products, we just wanna click that. And now when you go to your JetSmart filters, you're gonna see this button right here called index filters. 
you can just click index filters when you select that. So what that does is checks all of your products and adds that to a database so it makes it where it can display in the front end. So what that means is in the future if you add more colors or remove colors from your products, you need to go ahead and index these filters for it to show correctly on the front end. Now let's jump into Elementor and you can see right here under the index or options when you have the visual filter selected, just click that on, click show counter and you can see right here it's going to show zero. So what we need to do is it update and now on the front end of the website it's going to show one two and two and don't worry if you're in elementor and these say zero because sometimes this isn't going to update on the back end but as long as you can go to the front end and you see the numbers it's working correctly so like i said let's go ahead and remove one of the blue colors from the products so we can see if this number updates correctly so let's go ahead into the products and you can see I have a blue color right here. So let's just remove that. I'm just going to remove the word blue. Hit update. So now if I hit refresh, you see it still says blue, but if I select it, it only shows the one. So we need to go ahead, hit remove filters. And this is what I was saying. We need to update the index. So let's go ahead back into Jet Smart Filters. Select the color filter, index. Now when I hit refresh, that blue should say one. And there you go. And they give you some options to style these different numbers. So if we go back into Elementor, you can see right here under style counter, they give you an option to change some of these settings. So you can see how far off you want it from the label. And this is where you can change the different size and the color of the text. So let's go ahead and make this uh, like a red color so you can see it. And then they give you the option, if you check it, it can change the different color, let's say to a blue. So let's go ahead, hit update, refresh this page. You can see it's red. And now when I select it, it's a blue color. So that helps the user to visually see if they have something selected. Because um, if you notice right here, when you select an option, it adds this little border around here. So to change that border, you just go under the color image swatch under checked the border color right here. Let's make it black so you can visually see it. So let's go ahead, hit update, hit refresh. So now this border is gonna to turn to a little black color right here. And you can see right here, this kind of visually will show the user that they have selected the color. And that's it for this video. I hope this Elementor tutorial was helpful. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new Elementor tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.